In this video, I want to show you how to import a CSV into your Flutterflow project. Now, the first thing you got to do is set up Firebase, and we've done another video on that, so we've linked it below if you haven't done that yet. But once you have your Firebase set up, then you're ready to go. Okay, so I'm in Google Sheets right here, and I've got this employees spreadsheet right here with a bunch of just sort of standard fields. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a collection. So we're going to call it employees and create. Next, come over to manage content and we'll open up the content manager. And here we've got our empty employees collection. And here's our upload CSV. So let's just go over to our Google Sheet and download it to a CSV. Beautiful. Now let's go back over to our collection and upload that file. Here you can select what kind of separator is. Most often it's just gonna be a comma, you don't have to touch it. And if you wanna restrict the number of rows you're gonna be importing, you can set that here, but we want just everything. Next, we get to see a preview of the data we're gonna import. And most importantly, what field types Flutterflow thinks they are. So here we've got first name and last name. And if you come in here, you can see the options that are available to it. And that is to say some data is able to be different types of data. So if we come over to our phone number right here, we can see that we've got four different options. Do we want it to be an integer, a double, time stamp, or a string? And so you wanna go through here and check if the data is coming in as the correct types. So here I've got first and last name, which are both strings, that's correct. Onboarded, this is where the employee has been onboarded yet, is coming in as a Boolean, that's great. And once again, it could be a string, but no, I want a Boolean. Our phone number is an integer, and it's correctly identified the team color as of type color, beautiful. Now we can import that. Our fields have been added, so let's start the field import. Here's everything that we're gonna be importing. Great, it's been done, so we can just return there, finish and close. And we can see here's all our data come in correctly, beautiful. And that's how easy it is to get your CSV in there. Now, lastly, let's just talk about a few things to note when you're working with CSV imports. First, this is just for importing. You can't overwrite anything. So don't worry about corrupting your data if you need to upload again. Next, make sure if you do additional uploads, adding data to what you've already got here, is that the field names match perfectly. We don't currently have any mapping capabilities where you can tell Flutterflow, oh, I want to map this field to this field. And your header names can have alphanumeric characters, dashes or underscores, and no reserved keywords in Dart. There are 61 reserved keywords in Dart, so here they are. I'll give you a second to memorize all of them. Also, because Firebase is a NoSQL database, any additional fields you add in will only be added for whatever new data you put in. Let me show you. So let's say I've got some new employees and I wanna add in a favorite fruit. Let's add that in and let's import this. So you can see Flutterflow has correctly mapped all of our standard fields that we had already set up, first name, last name, etc. But it recognizes that this is a new field to import. So let's import this. So we can see here we've got Janice Janie, and if we scroll over, we can see their favorite fruit. They're not fruits for the other employees, but if we go into Firebase, and here's a trick, if you click and hold on the ID, it'll jump you over to that document. And we can see that it's got a field favorite fruit, but if we go to another employee, it doesn't have favorite fruit. Now, of course, you can add that in here or back in your data manager. That's importing CSVs into your Flutterflow project. Let us know if you have any questions below, and we'll see you in the next video.